Hey guys, so I, uh, my name is Sound of a Gap and this is Detroit Become Human. And in today's episode, Kara is meeting Rose because she's still trying to get her and Alice and actually Luther to get to Canada. And after that, we will see Marcus who starts his recruiting of new androids for Jericho. Still November 8th. I think it's the third day, the fourth day? Uh, 5 p.m. So we should be with Kara, right? Yes. Bring Doc to stream. <laughs> well, I could I could l still keep her in my room, sure. But as soon as she looks outside the window and she sees people, she's gonna bark, and you won't give it, you're gonna hear it. It's just too loud. Uh, check backyard, and then there will be something else. So this is the front. Um, wait, we have been at the at the uh, pirate thingy. Where are we now? Hmm. Hello. I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? Ah, oh, right. I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. We're Please, I really need to see her. We're looking for a way to Canada. Rose? What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? I hope so. You don't have a choice. Uh, where did she go? Where did she go? Did she, did she go inside? I think so, maybe? Mm hmm. Come in. I really hope she will be nice. Not like Slut Girl. What's your name? Promise. She's sick. She's running a fever. Yeah, I thought so. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Please be nice. Okay, before we go upstairs... Oh, I can't... I would like to... I wanted to read that. Oh, okay. Maybe we should bring her upstairs first. Come here. Come on, girl. Let's go. Wait, I wanted to see the picture. Subwoofer? <laughs> this is a dog. Subwoofer. This is funny. <laughs> <sighs> okay, uh, straight ahead? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Alright, uh, let's take a look around. Um, okay, there's nothing to be done here? No. Alice? Remove shoes, ah! Why was she looking up? 
at the ceiling. I'm fine, Kara. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. Mm, let's go for a bit, sure. We need rest. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Um, scared. Maybe they're just scared. People are always scared of what they don't know. Mm -hmm. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Uh, sincere. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous. Oh. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Cool. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Yeah, she seems nice. Uh, yeah, let's let's eat. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Really? Promise me you'll try. For about two days, she hasn't it's eaten anything. Uh, close curtains. Let's do that. <laughs> well, that can't happen, Luther. I'll stay with her a while. Yes. Ask Rose about crossing the border. All right. Um, can we talk to you for a second? No. All right, let's just leave. And then take a look around in the house before we talk to Rose. That dark breed looks like a furry wurst. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, so, pretty sure we can't go into the closed rooms. But we might, so that's why we are looking. Um, that doesn't help me at all. No, all right, let's go downstairs. Mm. A Christmas tree, nice. Cool. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son Adam. Mm-hmm. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Oh. Okay. Come and have a seat, Kara. All right, sit down. So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? I'm going to be sincere, and I really hope that she's trustworthy. Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. And she's a mom as well, so she should understand. So we ran away. I understand. Yes. Um, let's go for why help. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. Mm hmm. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. Mm. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. <sighs> this could take too long. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. Who is this? Check what's going on. Um, can I read that? I can't. All right, let's check. 
Once again, I would be in a hurry. What is going on? We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? On the wall there was RE9 written again. Wait, is Just let them be. Was she a human? Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Um stay. Although he said she's shutting down, so it should be an android, right? The girl? Come on, Alice. What just happened? She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Carol? Yes. I'm fine. What is happening? We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Calm down. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, oh, no! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Um... Should I talk to him? Maybe I could convince him. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? That's quick. You stay here. I won't be long. Be careful, girl. <sighs> okay, this is all done. Um, now, can we now read this? Yes, now we can. Century World War. Th who would win in? Who would win it? World War Three. Bonus culture. Why bankers pay themselves so much? Is President Warren too close to cyber life? If fighting does break out in the Arctic, who's going to win? America has less access to the area, but is surrounded by allies. Russia has a head start on technology. Their androids can work in sub-zero conditions. The US Navy is stocked with Trojan and Myrmidon cyberlife units, which are especially adapted for marine combat, where the Russians have invested heavily in ice cutter units capable of forging new paths through the solid ice. Both armies seem evenly matched, and Harry Grayton, president of the World Council of Territorial Disputation, has described both US and Russian claims for Arctic territory as equally tenuous and equally cynical. A spokesperson for the UN has also com commented on the neck-and-neck -neck nature of Arctic competition, the fact that forces are 
so evenly balanced is just one more reason why conflict must be avoided at all costs. This is a war that everybody would lose. Treat yourself, the AX400 starting at just $900. That's actually pretty cheap. Designed by Cyberlife, built in Detroit. Okay, that's it. Um... The police. What? It's the police. Already? Alice. Alice. Where's Where's Alice? But they know we're here. Where the hell is Alice? We have to open the there. Door. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. I knew this was gonna happen. Uh, laundry. In the laundry room. Come on, Alice. Um, hide evidence. Hide it. Uh, what else? What else? Upstairs. Ah, oh, shit. Can I get upstairs another time? No? Ah, oh, shit. There was... Something else. The cloth. The cloth. Come on, quick. No, the book. Hide! Come on! What the hell? Turn around. What are you doing? Mo do something! What the hell? I, I couldn't do it! It, the game didn't let me. Oh, shit. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. Shit, 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 shit. shit. Business going on. You can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? <sighs> May I come in? Uh, of course. Shit. Evening, young man. Good evening. Did he call the police? Is it his fault? Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. <laughs> Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Can I put it away now? Please, please, please. Is anyone else in the house? <sighs> uh, nobody. No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? No. No, there are no androids here. Make coffee. Just quick, make coffee. The quicker we handle this fool, he will leave. What's with the blue blood? Blue blood? I thought you didn't have any androids. Where did you find blue blood? Uh, previous owner. It belonged to the, the previous tenant. I still haven't cleared all that out yet. Where did he find blue blood? I didn't I didn't know there's blue blood here. Are you joking? Huh? Thanks. I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to do. Ah, uh, the... <laughs> Suspicion, what? Suspicion level is pretty low, okay. Oh, that's what he meant. God damn it, I didn't know that. Ah. Uh... I, th I thought he was... He just wanted to ask questions. Now he's walking around, looking around. Adam, don't you dare do anything stupid. Hmm. Is there anything else I should do? What's your name, son? A Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. Uh, 
I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. It's too bad he found the blood. Who was that? Is somebody else in the house? A draft. It must be a draft. I probably left a window open somewhere. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. <sighs> that went pretty well, I think. Luther, was it your fault? He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. Luther's close. Nice. Get yourselves ready. All right. We leave tonight. Nothing to see here. All right. Once again, let's start from the top. Okay. Um. Meet Rose and Adam outside. Luther and Alice join Kara. Okay, I don't know what which else or what else could have been there. Let Alice see Mary. Okay, could have told her to go. Explore the house. Yeah, I just had the time to read the magazine and then it was over. So, all right, cop at the door. Adam panics, but nothing happened. Policeman insists and Kara has to open the door. We managed pretty pretty nicely. Mm, you discovered the blue blood. Questions Adam. He got fooled. Awesome. Uh, find and hide evidence of deviance. Yeah, two things. Once one the blood and another thing I missed. <clears throat> Laundry room, yes. Um and two other things. Okay. I lied. If I wouldn't have lied, he would have... I, I think the policeman would have wanted to see Alice. Then it would have been totally different. And there's one thing which would have led to something. Okay. We fooled him, so he left. Otherwise, I think he would have attacked or called for backup. That's what I get of that. Alright, let's continue. November 9th. Early in the morning, probably. Yes. 2 a.m. And we're back in Jericho. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Correct. The dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you That's enough! Huh? Oh, she switched her color. Her hair color. Okay. I didn't know that this is North. I thought, who the hell is that? Now what are we gonna do? We build your future. There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Really? Stores? Hmm. No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike simultaneously at 2 a.m. No violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. Find the Cyber Life store. I've been waiting a long time for this. Girl, you really need to chill. You're gonna blow the whole operation. Oh, I can't run. Awesome. <laughs> it's 
It's okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Mm -hmm. The store's over here. Ah, oh, this is the store we, where we have been last time with Marcus. That's where we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. Mm -hmm. What are you waiting for? Secure the area and get into the store. Um, how do we secure the area? We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. Oops. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? You are free. Okay. Um, how are we supposed to secure the area? I have no idea, to be honest. Holy shit. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Okay, this is his road. Route. Um. Nope. No way. Nope. Too far. Again, too far. So there's only the one way to do it. Back here. So we need to get up there. Could just climb it actually. Shouldn't be too hard. Ah, now we need to get higher. No, too late. Okay. This should not be the way to do it, right? No, it's too high still. Mm, all the way back. Is there another way to go up? Really? Only this one? This way. <sighs> Come on. Get up there. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Let's do this. Drone neutralized. Nice. Uh, nice. <laughs> I hope it didn't have time to call the cops. I hope so too. We'll soon find out. All right. What else? What else? What else? Ah, oh, these people. <sighs> this is too bad. Right stick is for looking up and for interacting. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. There was another one. Don't care about that. You are free. The taxis, maybe? Something here? No, but this guy? And her? You are free. Well, I would say that looks like that's it. Marcus. What? What? What do you want? You see the alarm 
alarm system? Um, up there. Found it. Okay, down there. Uh, neutralize the alarm system. How do I do that? Oh, this is going this way. Um. Ah, in here. Network access located. So let's get in there. Free those guys. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Red or blue? Uh, okay. The hell? Oh, I, I need to hold it, okay. Uh, L2. Interloop, what? All right. Nice job, Marcus. Cool. What's next? There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. Mm. It shouldn't be too difficult. How do we block it? Marcus! Marcus, come look! What do you want from me? Come look. <sighs> come take a look at this cliche. <laughs> ah, this one. Actually, let's, let's just convert those as well. And then we will take the car You're or free. cart. Road closed. Mm-hmm. There. Nobody should bother us now. Alright. So now let's get into the into the store. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. And how do you plan on doing that? We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. What? Really? A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Uh find a truck. There's no truck! Truck exit. Oh, maybe inside here? Ah, okay. So, let's get inside. Just, could you climb it maybe? Um, open it, climb it, whatever. No. Girl, you're in my way. Through here. Really? What? I was sure I should go through here. Why can't I why can't I do that? Can't get over. Ah here it is. Or maybe not. What are we waiting for? Like I said, just jump. How are we supposed to? I wonder what you do without me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dude, how about running? Time is of the essence. Let me move. Quick. Oh god. <sighs> Looks like we're ready to make some noise. 
Somehow I don't like this girl. I can't steer. He's doing this all by himself. I can only hold R2. Without hitting any androids. Not bad. Awake the androids, yes. Let's start with those at the front. You don't have to obey them. You're free. He's... he's too chill for my taste. If I would do anything illegal, I would be mostly running. Not just strolling around. And this should be all. Talk to them. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> nice jacket, by the way. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. <laughs> I thought he would say, do whatever you want. <laughs> I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! With you. I'm with you, Marcus! I'm with you, Marcus! North is my companion now. And I'm the leader of Jericho. That was quick. It just took two days. <laughs> okay. Marcus, what are you doing? I have no idea. Well, I have no idea what he's gonna do. Send our message to the humans. Be pacifist or violent. Transform Capital Park. Uh, okay. The screens, Marcus. The screens. Uh, hijack. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better. Yeah, I wanna be pacifist, actually. I don't wanna be violent. What else can I do? Wait. Statue. But don't break it. Please don't break it. Tag. Anymore. We're free. 
Okay, what else? Wait. Uh, guys, get off my way. All right. Um, there was something with the bench. I want to see what I can do with the bench. Please don't destroy it. Uh, choose your symbol. Uh, I like that. X. A dream, I like that. Okay, what else? What else? The car, okay. Uh, move on road. Smoke bomb? Sure. I'm a total pacifist. Awesome. I like that. Um, what's next? Street light. Uh, hack. Is there anything else I can do? Yes, I can. Oh, I wanted to do something more. There was one more thing. At least. just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. I hope so too. Can't fight violence with violence. That's what I mean. Unless there's no other choice. Oh, come on. Don't be such a pessimist. Whoops. Um, you should leave, Marcus. What is she doing? North. I'm right. What happened? North. They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? Don't tell me she killed them. It's not gonna end well. They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. <sighs> you can't fight violence with violence. You have to be the better example. You have to lead by example. Don't shoot. You don't have to do this. Don't shoot. Don't. An eye for an eye and the world goes blind. Yes. We won't punish a crime with another crime. Jeez. 
She's gonna kill him, right? She's gonna kill him. I'm pretty sure she is. We interrupt this broadcast or maybe not. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti... Supportive, nice. ...in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the CyberLife stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign huh? conducted right here in the United States? It just States? said the public opinion is supportive and all you hear is negativity on the news. Send a message. That doesn't make any sense. So, what did we miss? Um, okay, we could have seen, could have been seen by the police car. I could have found another way to hide, maybe. Uh, um, something else I didn't see. Okay. We deactivated the alarm, destroyed the drone. Two more things I didn't see here that would lead to this, whatever that is. Police alert, of course, would have been over, maybe. Um, spread your message. Oh, wait, what? S that much? We had that much options? I didn't see some that many. I saw one more. Huh. Send a strong message. Nice. Pacifist message. Yes. Marcus led a peaceful protest. Nice. Um, police patrol arrives. Spare. Team return to Jericho. Awesome. And another way I didn't see. Two ways. Okay. 